Hello film clubbers, my name is Zara and I'm here live from the London Film Festival at the BFI South, South Bank with the incredible Hadis Yaron, who is starring in the film Fill, Fill the Void, which is screening right here. Welcome Hadis, how are you finding the London Film Festival? It's great. Have you had a chance to go and see any of the films yet? I saw one film when I just arrived, but I uh, didn't have much time because I'm here for the screening and then I have to go back. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah. you're here for your film, so let's go straight on to that. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, it's a love story. Love story. That's how I see it. <laughs> and uh, it takes place in, a, in an Orthodox world, a Jewish Orthodox family. And that is very interesting, I think. <laughs> it is. Um, is it something that's quite close to your heart, then, the whole Jewish Orthodox community? Mm, I'm a secular. Oh, okay. But it's interesting because we all live together in Israel, but none of us really, we're not really in each other's life. Yeah. You know? So it's close to my heart because it's nice to get to know it. Okay, well, we're going to cut to see a, f a bit of you in action. We've got a clip showing you and your family in the film dealing with the death of your older sister. Cool. So, <laughs> let's go straight to that. <laughs> Well, it's not exactly the most light-hearted film. What attracted you to the project? Wow. Um, <laughs> I love the script. The script. It was an amazing... Uh, it's an amazing director. He's a really special human being. He's <laughs> really special. And I love the story. And the cast is amazing. Everything. I really love this. Oh, sorry. I really <laughs> love this film. And um, so from your point of view, what was the most important thing that the audience took away from the film? I think, I don't know if you will relate to it, but in Israel, the whole religion, um, religious secular world, I mean, <laughs> It doesn't go together yeah. most of the time. And you see those people walking in the streets and you don't connect to them. Yeah. And then when you see the story, you, you understand that everyone is just a human being. Everyone has emotions, has decisions to make. And you understand that it's universal. It doesn't yeah. matter if he's religious, not religious, Jewish. Christian, whatever. Oh, actually, the, the, the director of the movie, Rama, um, kind of mentioned that already, and the sort of things that happen in the movie are universal. They're not things that aren't unheard of. Yes. Um, so for you, was it important that we gave the Jewish Orthodox community a, a voice and these small communities everywhere? Yes, of course. Is that, was, it something was it important to you when you were growing up? Did you feel like you always got that voice? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. With films and the film industry, did you always... Did you see your religion and your culture being represented properly? Most of the time, no. But it's interesting because the film and the... It gives a place to every... Mm, sorry. It gives... The beauty about movies, in my opinion, is that you can expose yourself to so many new things. So that's part of it. That's well. definitely something we at Film Club believe. Um, we're yeah. going to cut to another clip now of you and your mother in the supermarket. So mm, great. let's get to that. <laughs>
קופי אבא שלו. תצטרכי לעשות הרבה כביסות. מה, אין טישו? שירה? So we see a bit more of Shira, your character, in that clip. Um, can you tell us a bit about your character? <laughs> she's very sweet. <laughs> very? She's very confused. She's uh, getting to know all these new things that she doesn't know how to define. I mean, so that's basically what she's going through in the, in the film. Trying to... She's falling in love, but she doesn't get it because she never saw... A romantic movie and she can't say oh I saw it in that movie so she doesn't know what she feels and that's what's going on are you like your character at all in real life um, I have a few things <laughs> she, I don't know maybe sometimes she's not so much uh, with her feet on, on the ground. ground so sometimes I'm also like that <laughs> well it's hard with especially with the London Film Festival with so many films going around yeah it's hard <laughs> to kind of grasp it all so did, how did you research your character and get into your character's frame of mind? Um, it was a lot of uh, conversations with Rama, the director, because she comes from a, an orthodox oh, yeah. world. So that was understanding the world that my character is coming from, which is not my world. And then it was a lot of uh, emotions, because, you, again, you need to understand what she's going through and not if she wears a long skirt or if she prays. So it's, it's basically that. <laughs> yeah. We know that your character has to make a lot of difficult choices inside the film as well. Have there been any times in your life where you've had to make really hard decisions? Of course. <laughs> as everyone. As everyone. Yeah. Are there any particular moments that stand out? Hmm. Wow. Ah, I don't know. It's hard to think about it. Right now I'm in a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. I'll tell you about it later <laughs> when I'll figure it out. So, speaking of crossroads, what's next for Shira and for you yourself? What's the next project? Who knows? <laughs> we'll wait and see. Well, we've talked a little bit about Israeli cinema as well, just before we got to the interview. Um, are there any films when you were growing up that really inspired you or that you'd recommend to our film club? Israeli, wow. Uh, there's a new film which is called Epilogue, which is Epilogue. great. It's kind of sad, but it's a great film. There are so many good Israeli films in the past few years. So, uh, The Band Visit, oh, a lot. I can't translate it because in Hebrew it sounds different. So, really good films. You should look out <laughs> Israeli in cinema, really. So, what advice would you give to any aspiring actresses or actors or anybody who wants to get into the film industry? Hmm. It's hard, but it's worth it sometimes. Because you've done particularly well yourself in mean, the New York Film Festival and the Venice Film Festival that you just come back from. Yeah. Well, you won an award, am I right? Yes. But congratulations. Thank what award you. is it? The best actress. <laughs> ah, and we'll get to see that a lot in this <laughs> film, I guess. Yeah. Oh, but I'm afraid that we are running out of time for today. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an amazing talking to you. Uh, film Club, tune in tomorrow where we're going to report back on two exciting new films screening at the festival called Gimme the Loot and Law. And also, don't forget to check out our website where we've got a really cool Frank and Rooney competition going on where your school can win an exclusive screening of the film. And that's bye from me at the London Film Festival. Thank you.